page 7, line 13, insert sexual orientation, <coughs> gender identity, and after geographic location. The gentleman is recognized to explain his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, Blair. Mr. Nadler's previous amendment uh, um, impacted stop grant inclusion in section 1012M. Uh, this amendment impacts underserved populations, the grant section 3A19. <coughs> Um, as you know, every few years we reauthorize VAWA in order to update the laws in the books to reflect issues raised by those experiencing and addressing domestic violence. It's been seven years, and in that time, experts and service providers have gathered data and determined that certain groups are not being adequately protected. Specifically, hundreds of service providers, law enforcement officers, and advocates from around the country have informed us that greater protections are needed for immigrants, tribal members, and LGBT victims. The bipartisan Senate bill provides improved protections for these vulnerable populations. Sadly, the bill before us today does not. Therefore, I am offering an amendment that would restore a vital provision necessary to protect gay, lesbian, bi, and transsexual individuals from discrimination and ensure they are receiving <coughs> the services they need. <coughs> My amendment mirrors the bipartisan Senate language, which includes sexual orientation and gender identity in the definition of underserved communities. Why is this important? Just ask Alma. A transgender woman named Alma moved in with her boyfriend, Tony, but shortly after moving in, Tony began to punch Alma and tell her to take it like a man. Alma asked her to stop, but Tony only hit her harder. Neighbors called the police multiple times, but they never arrested Tony because that fighting between two men wasn't domestic violence. One night, Alma threatened to report Tony to the police, and he responded by beating her severely. She finally escaped to the hospital. They referred her <coughs> to a domestic violence program. But the domestic violence program told her they could not help, quote, people like her, and suggested she call family. Sadly, her family had disowned her years ago and when she discussed her gender identity with them. Discrimination is real. My amendment will ensure LGBT victims are explicitly included and targeted for specialized services to help both victims and service providers overcome hurdles to care. The bill before us today authorizes a new grant program for service providers engaged in outreach activities and ministering services to underserved, underserved population. These populations are those who face barriers to accessing services, and the grant funds provided through this program will help organizations develop and implement outreach strategies to those who face hurdles to care. LGBT victims fit the definition of underserved communities perfectly and are in desperate need of specialized assistance this new grant program would provide. LGBT relationships experience domestic violence at the same rates of the general population, yet only one in five survivors of same gender sexual assault and intimate partner violence receives victim services. LGBT victims are severely underserved with 45% of the survivors being turned away from domestic violence shelters and nearly 55% of these survivors are denied when seeking an order of protection. According to a 2010 study, 96% of victim services and law enforcement agencies say they did not have specific services for LGBT victims. If this isn't the definition of underserved, I don't know what it is. Like all victims of domestic violence, LGBT victims fear reporting their abuse, yet these victims face a special set of concerns. For instance, they, f they may fear being outed to their friends, family, or employer. In some states without civil rights protections, LGBT individuals can be fired for being who they are. And in states without same-sex adoption, an LGBT individual who leaves his or her partner to escape abuse must fear losing access to his or her children. Domestic violence affects people of all walks of life, whether they are gay, straight, immigrants, or tribal members. Everyone deserves to be protected. Sadly, the bill being considered by the committee today fails to meet the mark. But it is not too late. We can fix this bill. We can reach across the aisle. I encourage my colleagues to vote for this amendment, vote for inclusion, and vote to protect all victims of domestic violence. Thank you. I yield back. Uh, thank you, Mr. Quigley. And I'll recognize myself in opposition to the amendment. This amendment codifies language relating to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community to add.